Emmanuel. Dieu me bénisse, te thank you. Hallelujah. I want you to take note what we give attract people but the manner and the way we give attracts God tell your neighbor what I give can attract people but the manner and the way I give I trust God. No matter what you give, people will be there to say, hey, hey, hey. But the way and manner attract God. God is his word. What you gave me can attract people. People say, oh, he has given to me Joshua. He has given this, he has given that. But the way you give attract God. Anybody can give. Criminal can give, devil can give, anybody can give. The, the motive behind it, anybody can give. People are always looking where and manner to change. Take note. The relationship between our possession and our salvation. I'm safe. Safe? What do you mean by you are safe? How do you manage your possession? I'm safe. I'm born again. Oh, you are born again? How do you manage your possession? I have little. That is the best time to give what our life depends on without little. When you have much, it's always difficult to identify what to give because of our spirit. And uh, if you cannot part with little, you will not be able to part with much. So therefore, there's no way you can give when you become big or big, have much. You cannot give when you are not given when you have little. If you cannot manage little, you cannot manage much. If you cannot identify what to give with little, definitely you will not be able to identify what to give when you have much. Your time, your strength, your love, the greatest temptation out there is poverty. I say the greatest temptation out there is hardship. It's the greatest temptation. You have money and you are working in the midst of poor people. What do you want to use this money you are carrying? People around you that are so poor, you are working in their midst all the time and you are safe. What you have in your pockets is telling you you are not safe. Little, you have little. What is the little you have? What is the meaning of little? Little, what is little? That is the best thing to give. That is where you can identify the right thing to give out of that little. Because whatever you give out of little seems to be sacrificed. And the giver is sacrificed. But giver today is no longer sacrificed because what you give at waste what you do not need. What you do not need. When you give them, you don't feel it. You don't feel You don't know whether you give. That is it's no longer sacrifice. Everything about you is needed. 
someone is in need. Your smile. When I was coming this morning, I saw a gentleman. We were trying to drag the way out because we are, we are in traffic. When I peeped looking at the window, I saw, oh, if you see the kind of dress, putting on, I decided to tell my driver, will you slow down? I want to know if, if this man is coming to church. We slowed down, the vehicle was moving, and the branch here. And I told the usher monitor, I want to see how this man will enter the church. Because the attire I'm seeing with him, mm, it's not okay. Why should you pretend you don't want people to know who you are? You want to hide under what we call simplicity. That is not simplicity. It's me here that should not put on something that could cause disfocus. I mean, people looking, oh, this is pitiful, this is, I don't want, mm. I will look at myself and say, let me see what I, is it too much for people to begin to look, oh, this dress, I must go and buy it. Look at the shoe. Instead of listening to my message, oh, look at the way my pastor moved. Okay, oh, this tie is good. Mm, distraction, no. I must do every proper means to get you safe. My message. My message, my appearance, the way I look, the way I smile, should not cause detraction. No, oh, no. If 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 those cause detraction, I'm working against myself. To get you safe, you need the direction and the voice of God. So Please, let your neighbor at home know you are coming to church. Not just small Bible you put inside your pocket. You dress like you are going to work. Neighbor does not know where you are going. Is he going to the meeting? But I don't know the apparent look. I don't know, getting confused. Get strong. Let people know you are happy. Eh? From your appearance. Don't let people say, what is wrong with you? Okay, I hope no problem. If people are asking you, they consider your appearance the way you look. No. The church starts from home, not here. The thing that I'm coming to church, till I get to church, I behave like church. I have church attributes. No, right from your home, the church starts. Let someone say, charity begin at home. Oh, that is it. Got character from home. Good behavior from home. So, please. You know, we are in a warfare. Only serious minded will work, will be victorious. Okay, you want to tell me you are serious and you put on rag. But living here, when you go to club, you, it's a different thing entirely. I encourage you, please, be happy. Hallelujah. Amen. So, be happy. You must tell the devil to live. If not, you will not live. Tell the devil to live in the name of Jesus. To say this in the name of Jesus, you must believe with all your hearts, with all my heart. Hmm? Of my heart. Mm, yes. New every morning. New every morning. I tell you, devil, out of this body, out of this body, in the name of Jesus. Devil, out of my life, out of my life, in the name of Jesus. Simple as ABC. With all your heart. You know, you have been given instruction how to keep your blessing. How do we keep our blessing? One of the key ways 
what you give. You keep giving, you keep giving, but where is the reward? If you really give something that attracts God's attention, someone is somewhere waiting to give you to. What are you looking for? Good health. Someone is somewhere waiting. Prosperity? Someone is somewhere waiting. Peace? Someone is somewhere waiting. If you give something that pleases God, someone is waiting to give you two. Tell your neighbor. So you have been given, no doubt about that. You have been given, you have been given. But it seems those given attract people, but not God. If you attract God, and what you are given pleases God, you want to give more because of the reward. This is our rewarder. That is my life for you. This morning before coming to your miss, it's an exercise I must. I must make sure what I need to do. I must play my role because our willingness plus God's ability make us what we are as a child of God. Our genuine willingness, our genuine willingness plus God's ability, work, miracle. Say so you have little. Mm, little? What is little? Everything big. Start little. If you don't start little, you cannot reach big. Tell your neighbor, little, 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 everything big. Start little. If you don't start little, you cannot reach B. That's it. Say, oh, I have little. It's only just the one that can take me to where I'm going. With that, take out of it, trek a little. You trek because you have given something to someone out of the one you have, that sacrifice. I have little. If only I had, I will help you, sir. But I have little. Little, little. Everything be start little. For you to get big, you must start little. And if you are lit, if you are waiting to have B before you can give, that may never come. Take your time to go to the bank to cash with aim to cash money and give to the needy. Have you ever done that before? No. Go to the bank? Oh, yes. With, while you are on the queue, whatever way, say it in your heart. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm here for the needy. I'm here to support the needy. Now, it's not only money you want to give now. Even your efforts, your time to be on the queue, it's also... Look, not that you will not be blessed if you are not given. People are blessed over there, rich, so much, and they don't give. But the repercussion there is, peace will be out of it. Peace of mind, peace of heart will be out of that. If you have the whole world without the peace of heart, as I'm talking, many are saying, no, oh, my friend is very rich, he doesn't give, but oh, your friend doesn't give. Call your friend, if your friend must be sincere to you, 
he will tell you what he's going through in the dream. He's being flung, he's being riding like a bicycle every day. His day is number. Their day are numbers. Satan can just catch them on PPA, just like that. One thing we miss and we lack, not money. No matter how little you have, if you have peace with it, you sleep, you'll be content, and you'll grow. Peace. That is what we lack. So if you know this, you will not ask for more money or more possession. The one you have can grow naturally without even mass. God knows. He know. He's the giver. How can you not tell giver that what you are giving me is small? It's not enough. No, he know. Peace. Peace. If there's any area Satan affects in our life, is our peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace of heart. That is what you need. It is this peace of heart that gives all you need. You give money, you give possession, you give everything you need. But you don't know. You are not asking for possession. Instead of asking for the, the, the seed, you come. Peace of heart. That peace of heart is the healer, is the deliverer. That is what you need. If you're in a prison yard and you have peace of heart, it will become a city room and the, I mean, you, you just find yourself happy. But without peace of heart, there's nowhere you can be and be satisfied. And no matter the money, you cannot be satisfied. No matter what you have, And that word is the peace of heart, the word of God. Let us be serious. Consider yourself as a blessed child for being here today, for hearing this message.